Hello, my name is Russell Singer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate how to resynchronize your present server database with System Manager. Please be aware that the following procedure is service affecting for your presence users. In order to resynchronize the presence database, we do need to stop the present services so that they're not running while the database sync takes place. In order to do this, you'll want to access your present services web controller, which is what you see on the screen here. Essentially, you access the IP address of your present server through your web browser. Then you'll want to click on the link that says enter the Avaya Aura present services web controller. That will prompt you for a login, which is a username and a password. And typically you'll log into the present server as craft. So I'll enter the craft login and the craft password. This is something that's likely different on each present server. However, the default is craft01 for the password. Now, once you log into the present server, you may see a notice such as what you find on the screen here, essentially telling you that there's another administrator logged into the system. If that is the case, you have the option to either kick the existing administrator off or uh, or to wait for them to log off. Now in this case I'll go ahead and choose please kick the other administrator off. That will give me direct access to the present services administration screen. Once I do that I'm presented with this screen here which is for the XCP controller and you'll notice near the top of the screen under the system subheading there is a link that says stop the system. Now before we can resync the database for present server, we want to stop the system. And remember that this is service affecting for your presence users. So once you've stopped the system, instant messaging as well as present status, online, busy, unavailable, that will be essentially stopped as well. So you do need to keep that in mind as you follow this process. But in our case, I know that the system is idle, so I'm going to go ahead and choose stop the system. That will take just a minute to complete. And I'm prompted to confirm my choice before I actually stop the system. Again, this would be service affecting on a live system. But in our case, I'll go ahead and choose OK since I know that this is a, an idle system currently. So once the system is stopped, you'll see this screen pop up here on the, on the browser telling you that the system is currently down and that once you're ready, you can click the link to start the system now. But we don't want to do that quite yet. While we have the system down, we actually want to resynchronize the database with System Manager. So what we'll do is leave this browser window open and we'll go to another tab here, which is where I've logged in already to System Manager, and there we'll resynchronize the database. This is the System Manager 6.1 main menu. Whether you're using System Manager 6.1 or 6.0, or even 6.2, you would follow the same procedure. And in fact, even the menu items themselves are identical. So what we'll do is we'll go under the services menu here, and we're going to choose the replication option. Once that comes up, you'll see that there are two replica groups on this system here. There may be more on yours. What we want to do is choose the present server replica. That is the PS replica node that you see there on the screen. Now, rather than repair the replica group, which is what is shown on this screen here, I actually want to repair an individual node within that group. So what I'm going to do is click the replica group, the name of the group, to open that group up. And the reason for this is because sometimes there may be more than one server that's part of the same group. So you may not want to resynchronize the entire group. Uh, you may just want to resynchronize one server. So this is a, a safer method to use. So we'll select the PS Replica group there. We'll just click on that. That will open up for us a list of all servers that are part of that group. And as we can see here, we have our Team 1 present server. So we're going to select the box. We're going to check the box next to that server name. And then we're going to click the Repair button to resynchronize the database up at the top. Now, no data should be lost as we do this because the present server gets all of its data or should be getting all of its data from System Manager anyway. So this is a fairly safe operation. However, it is required that the present server 
itself be stopped in order to resynchronize the database. So that's the reason for the service affecting part or component of this whole process. So you can see once we click repair that we get a screen or we get the status there showing us queued for repair. And this status does refresh periodically. However, if you want an immediate refresh to keep a closer eye on what's happening with the status of the synchronization, you can click the refresh link just above the list of replica node host names there. So I'll go ahead and click that refresh link very quickly and you'll see that almost immediately the synchroniza synchronization status shows repairing. Now this repair will take a few minutes so it's a good time to go get some coffee or, or something to drink. Now once the repair is finished or the resync is finished, what you'll see there is again the status show synchronized. Now we're ready to go back to our present services web interface. And from here we can just click the link that says start the system now. Again, this will take a, a couple of minutes to actually start all of the services for present server. But you're taken to a screen here where you can monitor the status of each component as they start. And the refresh here happens automatically so you should not have to refresh the page or anything like that. You can just monitor the status of each of these components. And once they're all green and they show running, then your present server database has been successfully resynchronized. We thank you for your time today, and we hope this information was useful. We welcome your questions, comments, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.